Hey guys, uh, back another mail day. Um, game seven in about an hour and a half. Can't wait. Um, hopefully the Rangers pull it off. And don't waste this entire awesome season they've had. So let's just get into it again. Um, going to go as usual with the stuff that's for trade, and then um, well actually this is a little bit of a mixed bag because there's a couple things that I need to, like special mail days that I needed to show. But anyway. Um, okay, so I just got these cards in. This is for trade. Um, this is a Jamie Langenbrunner, number 8 of 10, high gloss, um, from the Series 2. Uh, Gabrick Limited Base Card. Lungfist uh, Mass Marbles from 1112 Certified. And, um, okay, now on to... Okay, so I got two of these cards. Um, one is red and blue, which is the one I'm definitely keeping. This is out of 199. It's uh, Brothers in Arms, Martin Biron and Henrik Lundqvist. And this one is all white, um, which can be for trade. Um, I'm not sure. I might just keep it because it looks kind of cool to have the rainbow there. But um, we'll see. Uh, I mean, it's not like it's a very valuable card or anything, so I don't know what I would trade it for. But anyway, okay, so I also got this Team Trademarks uh, jersey of Henrik Lundqvist out of 99. Um, give me a sec. Okay. Uh, another card that I needed was a with Gabrick uh, Ruby and Crown. Um, Rick Brad Richards Limited out of uh, 99 jersey, number 30 of 99. Um, Robitaille, this card, again, this is possibly for trade since he's not shown in a Rangers jersey, but it's an SPX uh, winning materials of Robitaille from 1011 SPX. Um, got some uh, game used 11 12 cards in, um, like this Brad Richards gold out of 100, and this Henry Lundqvist gold out of 100, and this Tim Erickson rookie exclusive sticker autograph out of 100. Um, all right, and then I made a trade with uh, Brad at Kuch and Chara. I traded in my Louis. Erickson High Gloss from Series 2 out of 10, and he traded me this Marion Gabarik Dominion out of uh, blue, blue out of 10. Um, so, where is that? It's number 4 of 10. So that's a cool trade. Um, you know, we basically just did PC for PC uh, out of 10 for out of 10. Um, yes, this is a little bit higher end, but uh, it's not really about that. It's just about finding the right card to trade for, and that was a perfect trade. Um, also, I won, um, thanks to Black Sheep uh, 217, uh, Luke on uh, YouTube, I uh, won his contest uh, for SP Game Used. I won two cards. Um, this Rick Nash out of 100, which is definitely for trade, and this Mark Caddick out of 699, which is also for trade. But uh, And he knows I'm a Ranger fan. I keep bugging him for his Ranger cards. Uh, and... He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have much that he wants from me, uh, even though I have a bunch of sharks. But um, so he knows I'm a Ranger fan. So he sent me this uh, blue rookie materials to Marison. This is for trade. I already, I already have it. But thanks, Luke. That was really nice of you. Because um, I, I mean, he I had already won the contest, and he already sent me stuff for free. And uh, he decided to send me more stuff for free. Um, and then this. Awesome. Um, it's my first scratching the surface from last year. I love that they're numbered, um, which is a huge minus to this year's. It's not numbered, and also they're thicker and um, I don't know, they're just overall just cooler. Uh, this is Mark Stall. Mark Stall out of 100. Um, yeah, so that's a nice card. And uh, what else we got here? And then another trade. I got one of these Molson, I'm, I'm trying to get all four of them, uh, Molson Panini 1994, um, these were like special cards that are included in, Mol in uh, Molson 12 packs or something in Canada, but it has uh, every year of the cup one, and this is 1994 for the Rangers, so there's, um, I have 28 also, I'm trading for 28, and I'm trying to get 33 and 40, um, so if you do have any of those cards, I'm interested, uh, just not 94, obviously, um, and then Again, this, this is a, because he's a former Ranger, this card is PC, it's a Federer Tewton, Tewton, um, 10 of 10, um, 20 Amante, um, Blackhawks, uh, 
from Captain C and Pat Albury from uh, Captain C base card. And then finally, just wanted to address something about uh, shipping practices. Um, it's really annoying when when I uh, do it, when I acquire a card and it's shipped out like this. No, no team, no. Uh, no, uh, this is exactly how it came. I mean, actually, you know what? I actually pushed it down a little bit, but it came, literally was just like kind of sticking out like that, like right at the top of the top loader. Um, this is a Mark Stahl Future Watch card uh, out of 989, and um, the shipper uh, didn't put it in a team bag, didn't put it, didn't put any tape on top or anything, and just let it kind of fall out of the card. And it is kind of damaged on top here. Um, but you know, uh, it's not that big. A, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of annoying. But it, it could have been much worse. Um, it could have not just have like a soft corner. It could have been creased. But um, anyway, anyway. Oh, also, yeah, this is from Black Sheep. Um, did a little drawing that he did, that he does. Uh, congrats, cardboard review. That's the site. Black Sheep. Anyway, um, we lost the Rangers. Peace out.